everybody, it's Mr. Greg here from the Kindergarten Smorgasbord and I'm very excited to be uh, blogging at the Elementary Entourage today and this month we're blogging and writing about why we're lucky to be teachers and so I wanted to, to share a video with you and um, just kind of tell you why I'm lucky to be a kindergarten teacher. First of all, I love, love, love kindergarten. Kindergarten, they come in and they're just, they're these little sponges and they soak up everything we talk about, everything we do, literally everything. So if you say something you don't want them to remember, you're in big trouble because they're going to remember it. I love that, that they have this excitement and this enthusiasm that it really is unmatched and unrivaled anywhere else. My kids get in trouble every morning because they're running down the hallway trying to get to class because they're so excited and they're so enthusiastic about learning. I love kindergarten because they're brutally honest. They're going to tell you if they like your hair, if they don't like your hair, if they like your clothes, if they don't like your clothes, if you stink, if you smell good. They're going to tell you everything. They're brutally honest. They have no filter, and I love that. But what I'm, what I, what I'm most lucky and what, what makes me feel like the luckiest teacher in the world is that every day I have the pleasure and the honor and the blessing of coming to a job and it's not really a job because I love it and I would do it even if I didn't get paid. But I get to come into my classroom every day and I have 18 little humans that rely on me that show up every day with a smile on their face and they're happy and they're excited and they have a desire to gain knowledge and they have this passion to learn. And so I'm lucky to be a kindergarten teacher because I've got these kids coming in every day looking to me to teach them and to help them learn and grow and to make that fun and exciting. What's not to be to love and how can you not consider yourself lucky when you've got all of these little humans looking up to you and admiring you and spending their days with you and learning and growing and having fun? How can I not be lucky when I have the best job in the world? These kids come in every day and we all know some of them come from great homes, but some of them are coming from terrible circumstances. And they come in every day with a smile, and they work hard, and they give it their all, and they do their best all day long. How can we not be lucky, and how can we not love what we do? How can we not love that? And how can, how can I not feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world when every day these 18 kids show up, they do what I ask them to do most of the time, they work hard, they smile, they laugh, we get up and we sing and we dance and we learn and we grow, and at the end of the day, they don't want to go home. When I say it's time to clean up to go home, I hear, oh, we want to stay with you. People, how can we not feel lucky? How in the world can we not be excited and just love what we do when every day we get to spend our day with, with little humans that don't want to leave us? We have an amazing responsibility to every day to make these six to eight hours that we spend with our kids the best possible eight, six to eight hours. And at the end of the day, we want them to have that, that desire to stay with us. We want every day to be so much fun and exciting and happy and safe that our kids don't want to go home. And in the morning, we want them so excited to come back into our classroom that they're running down that hallway to get here. People, I'm the luckiest man in the world because I, ha I get to live that every single day. I'm lucky to be a kindergarten teacher because at the end of the day, I'm making a difference. I truly am changing the world and making an impact on the world because I, get to, I am lucky to get to spend my days with these little humans who look up to me and who rely on me. But more than anything in the world, I look up to them and they inspire me every day. These kids come in here from who knows what kind of circumstances, good or bad or terrible. They show up, they laugh, they giggle, we talk, we bond, and they overcome. And every day we leave here successful and happy knowing that, that we've learned and we've, we've loved and we've danced and we've had a blast. So how in the world can I not feel like the luckiest person in the world? And how in the world can my kids not inspire me? So I am lucky to be a kindergarten teacher because I'm surrounded by 18 humans, little bitty humans, who love school, who love learning, and who have an unbridled enthusiasm that as teachers we need to, to tap into that enthusiasm and we need to make every day the best possible experience we can for our kids. 
I'm lucky that I get to do a job that I love and that I'm passionate about, and I'm lucky that I get to do it with my 18 little mustaches who every day go above and beyond what is expected of them, and in every day they wow me with what they're able to do and the things they say and the love that they show for each other and the love that they have for learning. That's why I'm lucky to be a kindergarten teacher.